Okay, how we doing on new release night? Yeah, everybody having a good day so far? Well, we've got a couple of products to open tonight, and looks like we may have a bidding spot available in each uh, one of those instances. So we're going to find that out here in a minute. We're going to give these people uh, a little bit of time to to uh, get themselves paid and all that stuff while we're going over some information. Then if it's still unpaid after that, then we will open it up and let you guys have a crack at it. But first things first, let's take a look at the news to use for tonight. So feedback is automated on eBay. Anytime you leave positive feedback for me, you are instantly going to get positive feedback in return. And of course, as always, a big thank you because I do appreciate you being here bidding and breaking and chatting and hanging out with me and all that fun stuff. This is what it looks like in the days ahead. So, um, of course, obviously, you see what we're breaking tonight. I've technically probably should have just taken that off there, but I didn't. I left it on there. I don't know why. So, anyway, you know what we're breaking tonight. Tomorrow night is a half case of Allen & Ginter baseball. That is the back half of a case that we started, I don't know, last week, I think. And, as usual, it will have multiple bidding spots for the non-baseball categories. To, uh, Friday night, we do have a new release, XR Football. We're going to break a 15-box, excuse me, a 15-box case of XR Football on Friday night. Saturday and Sunday are both off nights. We're going to come back on Monday night. And I broke, uh, that is not what we are breaking there. I typed in the totally wrong thing. That is not what we are breaking there. We are actually breaking, well, not any of that. Um, why did it say that? I don't know why it says that. What we're actually breaking is um, Chronicles Baseball. It's a half case of Chronicles Baseball. And for some reason, I had the totally wrong product in there. But anyway, you got the idea. So um, apparently I made a couple of... Am I looking at last night's spreadsheet by chance? No, I don't know what is happening here. We got all kinds of a mess going on here. But Saturday is basically when you can expect both of your breaks from tonight to ship. And uh, I don't know how it is. I think actually I, well, I must have obviously sent myself over the wrong spreadsheet, but we can fix it real quickly. We'll just fix it as we go. No problem. That's what I get, isn't it, for answering emails on eBay at the same time I was doing this. I shouldn't have done that, should I? Mm -mm, probably not. But we'll fix it. Okay, so that's got it right. So what we're opening tonight should be out the door and on the way to you approximately Saturday. It's always plus or minus a day. So if things go well, might get out faster. If something goes off the rails, it might be a day later. But that's what we're looking at. Encased basketball is our first break of the night. Contenders Draft Picks Basketball, our second break of the night. I'm going to bring you back to my screen for a minute while I go check and see where we are in terms of who is paid and who is unpaid, and we'll see what, if any, spots we need to move out. So it looks like the only thing unpaid is a spot for the Toronto Raptors here in the encased break, which is our first break of the night. So if someone would like to buy the Raptors, you can jump in and let me know. Looks like they ended on eBay at $20 and some change, so we would just call it $20. And, of course, if you pick it up here from chat, I don't ever charge you shipping when you pick it up this way. So if anybody wants the Raptors in encased basketball, please jump in and let me know that little fun fact. Meanwhile, let me update the spreadsheet real quickly just to note that it's unpaid, and then we'll move on down the road here. And get, us our, get ourselves all squared away, won't we? You know, I watched a segment the other night on Brain Games. I don't know if you ever watched that show on National Geographic. It's pretty interesting. And it talked about multitasking and how we all think we do a good job multitasking and how really none of us do. And then seeing where I messed up that spreadsheet tonight because I was simultaneously answering emails, I think demonstrates that. <laughs> DC Sports, you're asking about the Raptors looking for uh, basically what they ended for on eBay which was 20 and then of course no shipping charged for that if you've got other teams coming and uh, someone else is asking how do you pay I don't want to mispronounce your name so that's why I didn't try because I would butcher it 
PayPal is the form of payment we would take for that if you want to pick up the Raptors. So this is a four box half case break. It is encased basketball. This is break number one. Everything that we're opening tonight ended tonight on eBay, which is Wednesday night, the 21st of October. We've got our team names there on the left hand side, our winning bidders across from each team there on the opposite side, the Raptors being unpaid. I just looked over there and see that DC Sports Hero wants to pick them up. So we'll go ahead and uh, update that. Before I start typing that in there, DC Sports Hero, I am going to type in to you, for you right now the email that I use for PayPal. I don't use it for correspondence or anything else. I would never see a message you sent there, but I will see if PayPal rolls through there. So DC Sports Hero, if you want to shoot over 20 bucks, I'm going to uh, update this and then I've got to go close it out um, on eBay. So we're almost ready to go. Uh, well, I made a typo, but that's really just for our reference, so we know what's what anyway, right? That's right. All right, so that part is updated. I'm going to bring you back to me again. I'm going to go here into dear old eBay and cancel it out while DC Sports Hero is doing his thing. I'm going to do my thing, and then we're going to reconvene and be ready to go. And thank you for picking that up. I appreciate it. And uh, why does it say I can't cancel the order? That's weird. It says you can't cancel the order because there is a problem with an item in this order. That doesn't even make any sense, does it? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know what that is about. Because the buyer has not paid for it, but it won't let me cancel it. I don't understand that at all. Huh. Well, DC Sports Hero, um, I don't know why it will not let me cancel the order, but it won't let me cancel it on eBay. But I will cancel it out of there as soon as I can. For some reason, it's not allowing me to tonight. And truthfully, I don't, I don't know why, but it isn't. So, so we'll just move on down the road here. And uh, yeah. I'm going to change up the focus. You're going to notice that your background gets a little blurry here. Okay, so your background is uh, is intentionally blurry, I think is the way I want to say it. We're going to be able to see our cards up close with no problem. So this, of course, our half case of encased basketball. DC Sports Hero says he's all done. Thank you. I appreciate it. Listen, I don't know what is going on, why eBay will not let me cancel this order tonight. It's, why is that setting all crooked and weird? That's strange. That is, look at that. That box doesn't even lay flat. Like, what is happening? I don't, oh, huh. Piece of packing peanut. <laughs> that would do it, wouldn't it? So I don't know what is going on with that DC Sports Hero, why it won't let me cancel it out on eBay, but I will try to cancel it out on there again later tonight. And if for some reason it still doesn't let me, then, um, you know, we'll sort it out. So normally it just lets you cancel it and it's not tonight, which is somehow not surprising because eBay is difficult to deal with these days. So we're going to go ahead and just get our packs out of here. We've got obviously the one graded card per box. And then we've got uh, our other cards in the smaller pack. And what we are looking for, two autographs and two memorabilia cards per box. And Panini's two favorite words over there on average. So every once in a while they replace a hit with points cards. And if that happens to us tonight, we'll use random.org to award the points cards. And, uh, yeah, so that's kind of what we're looking at. Hopefully, we won't get any tonight, but you never know. Let's save those to last. They're my favorites. Aren't they your favorites, too, I bet, right? The, the graded ones. So we're going to save them for last and look at our other first. And see what we can come up with. So there is a Blake Griffin to start things off. That is number two. 15 headed to the Pistons. I guess I could trash that wrapper. Then we've got the Phoenix Suns and Devin Booker coming out next. Devin is numbered to 99 there with your 
relic and it's uh, kind of nice the way they make it look like a graded card across the top this year. <laughs> that didn't used to be there. That's actually kind of cool, isn't it? I mean, I think a little bit. Build it into the card design. For the Milwaukee Bucks, it is Chris Middleton. That is numbered to 10 and you have a relic there for the Bucks. This should by default be our autograph out of the pack. It is the Oklahoma City Thunder and it's Darius Baisley. That one is numbered 2.99. And Alex joined us too somewhere along the way. Hi, Alex. How are you? Stang Lover said a foreign bad actor changed it. <laughs> Stang Lover sent me a message earlier today. We were talking about that mess I had last night trying to get the break done. My Broadcast software crashed my computer, and then Windows wouldn't load, and then it all had to be uninstalled and reinstalled. Hot mess. Took like 45 minutes before we could start. And he said, uh, he was joking with me and said a foreign bad actor caused it, <laughs> which is not too far from the truth, I feel like. De'Aaron Fox to 99. That's the Sacramento Kings. Yeah, it was, whew, it was stressful last night. The Charlotte Hornets and Cody Martin with a relic numbered to 199, that says. And now we have the Phoenix Suns. There's Ty Jerome. That is numbered to 199, another relic. By default, this should be our autograph then. And it is Mr. Charles Oakley, and that is out for the Toronto Raptors. And it is numbered to 99. Which means I definitely need to go in and try to get that other spot canceled out again. Numbered to 99, there's Steph Curry. That is the Golden State Warriors. For the Lakers, I've got a Kyle Kuzma. And Kyle's Relic is numbered to 199. The Clippers, Cabinagle, and that also a relic to 199. And then we have an autograph here for Nicholas Claxton, and that is the Brooklyn Nets, and it is numbered to straight up 99. So that's where we are with it, and I'm just pausing here for one second. I do want to try once again to go in there and get that, get that order canceled since we've got some issues but yeah it still says the same thing cannot cancel the order there's a problem with the item but how could there be a problem with the item i don't i've never seen that message before super weird well the raptors are unpaid so chandler if you are the one that has them on ebay you didn't didn't pay for them so that's why we moved them out in chat to dc sports heroes and normally it would already be canceled out in ebay uh, because it's unpaid, but eBay is like hung up and for some reason isn't letting the cancellation process that we've been attempting to do. But yeah, it's unpaid. So that's, that's the problem. There's James Harden and that is numbered to 99. That is for the Rockets. Then we have the Hawks and Cam Reddish. And the Hawks are numbered to 199. The Cleveland Cavaliers have a Kevin Porter Jr. And Kevin Porter Jr. is numbered to 199. And the autograph, the Celtics. It's Tremont Waters for the Boston Celtics. Numbered to 99, the magic number of 99 with the hard signed autograph and relics. Now we've got, of course, our graded cards, the super fun part. And Chandler's here. Hi, Chandler. Yes, this is the eBay break. And of course, uh, uh, well, I just, yeah, let you know what was going on with the Raptors, assuming you're talking about this break. Now, if you're in the Raptors in the next break for Contenders Draft, they are paid there, but they are not paid here here so the Washington Wizards have an Admiral Schofield and the autograph is graded to a 10 the card itself is graded to a 9.5 and um, there is your deal with Admiral Schofield our first graded card out for the Wizards 
Review Masters looking for some nuggets. Stang Lover needs some pacers. This is Okiki, and it is graded to 9.5, uh, numbered to 99, the autograph grade to 10, and that is going to the Orlando Magic. The Hawks are out next, DeAndre Hunter, and the autograph is graded to a 9, that's unusual, and the card itself is graded to 9.5. You've got the little swatch of Relic, the hard-signed autograph card is numbered 249 for DeAndre Hunter. And here comes our last one, so we're going to do a little last uh, pack mojo here. And JDVP is here also. Hi, JDVP. You jumped in a minute ago, too, I believe. Oh, that turned out to be nice. It's PJ Washington for the Hornets. And autograph graded to a 10. Card graded, though, disappointingly, to an 8.5. And it is numbered to 99. Just further demonstrates the fact that these cards, you know, never even handled by anybody except Panini and the guy who signed it. And they still grade out at 8.5s and 9s and... <laughs> It's nearly impossible to get a perfect card. I guess that's why they sell so much, isn't it? All right, let's recap it. To 99, you have one for the Warriors. Here's one to 99 for the Rockets. Then I have the Kings, numbered to 99. And numbered to 15, the Detroit Pistons. On the flip side, we've got the Cleveland Cavaliers, and it is numbered to 199. They have 199 Phoenix Suns, Ty Jerome, Cody Martin, 199 the Hornets. Got a little ink on this one and uh, the, the swatch as well. Numbered to 99 Darius Baisley for the Thunder. Nice looking relic to 10 for the Milwaukee Bucks. And a relic numbered to 99 for Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns. Next out, Tremont Waters to 99, autograph relic, Celtics. Relic only, Cam Reddish, 199, Atlanta. Here come the Brooklyn Nets to 99 with an autograph for Nicholas Claxton. To 199, there's Cabinagle and the Clippers. Then you've got the Lakers to 199, a relic for Kyle Kuzma. And the Charles Oakley here for the Raptors, that is numbered to 99. Our graded cards to 8.5 for the Charlotte Hornets, it's P.J. Washington. To 9.5 for the Atlanta Hawks, DeAndre Hunter. 9.5 for the Orlando Magic, it's Okiki. And then Schofield to 9.5 for the Washington Wizards. Okay, there you go. So that is Encased Basketball wrapped up. We're going to be rolling into Contenders Draft Picks next. I'm going to go ahead and get it out on the table, and then we'll be putting our spreadsheet information up here once again as soon as I get, uh, get this on the table and ready to go. And, of course, this product, everybody's in their collegiate uniforms, and obviously none of our rookies have been drafted yet with everything having been delayed. So that's why our spots were sold by the first letter of the last name. So someone wrote me earlier and said, what if somebody's last name is such and such junior? Like, for instance, Kevin Porter Jr. Obviously, he won't be a rookie there, but he was a rookie this year. So it would go to the P, guys, because it is the first letter of the last name. So the junior is not the first letter of the last name. It's technically not even the last name. It's like a, you know, whatever. <laughs> it's, not, it's an extension, although that's not the right word, but you know what I mean. And if there's a hyphenated name, I mean, I think I have some of these examples in the listing description as too, but let's say it were a hyphenated name like you have with football this year, Clyde Edwards Hilaire. It would go to the first letter of that last name, which would be Edwards not the first letter of the second part of the name, which comes after the hyphen. So hopefully that makes sense. So once again, Saturday is your anticipated shipping date for this. As always, as plus or minus a day, if I can get it out to you faster, I will. And if something unexpected were to happen, it could always go a day later, which in this instance would mean Monday. But I am hopeful that it will be out the door and on the way to you Saturday. 
if you got skunked and encased or if you get skunked in contenders draft picks, meaning you do not pull a card of any sort, base or otherwise, you are still going to get a package in the mail. It's going to have consolation card or cards in it, and it will go out the door when the rest of the break ships because, well, technically that would be your next package. So if you, if you don't hit, consolation cards still headed your way. So a six box half case break, our first product for the 2021 draft class, and it's Panini Contenders Draft Picks Basketball. It's a half case break, break number one, ended tonight on eBay, Wednesday night the 21st, the same day it came out. And of course, you'll see their last name, A, B, C, etc. A couple of them are combined. I believe we had H and I, I think, were combined, weren't they? N O P Q T U V, uh, and then XYZ. So that's how that is all set up. And again, pretty pretty easy to follow along there. Just the first letter of the last name. Now let me try one more time to go in here and get this Raptors closed out. I don't understand why eBay is being super funky about it. I've never really had them do this before ever. I've never had them do that where you can't cancel an item. So I don't really understand what's going on with that. But DC Sports Heroes, I will get in touch with you after the break and we'll see if we can't figure out what in the world's going on with it. So, looking for six autographs per box in here. Somewhere on there it tells us there it is. And once again, our tiny little letters that say on average, same as before, every once in a while it means they jack you up and don't send you a hit that you are due to have. But most of the time, what that would refer to is more like, oh, we replaced one of your hits with a points card. Deal with it. <laughs> That's usually what that, what that on average means. So if we do have a points card, we will, of course, use random.org to distribute it at the, at the end of the break. But they like to use that on average as some CYA is kind of the, kind of the deal there. So... So the prospect tickets and things, again, we're going to go pretty quickly through these. It doesn't matter whether they're veterans or rookies since we sold it by first letter of last name. So Trey Young to the Ys, Jason Tatum to the Ts, etc. cetera, uh, just as you would expect, whether they are vets or rookies, since we, you know, it would have been too difficult to try to break them out. Rookies going one way, vets going another, and that kind of thing. This is a campus ticket. It's a hollow foil James Harden going to the H space, and this is numbered to 99. It's Devontae Graham, that going, of course, to the G. And this is probably our first autograph, I would expect. And it looks like it is going to the Bs. It's Jordan Bone coming out first for the letter B. So now we would get into what will be our rookies. So all of this fun stuff in the middle, the campus legends and all that stuff is usually the rookie part. And then you get back into your veterans after that. So it's veterans, the middle part with the hits and the rookies, and then you switch back to vets. That's how these packs are typically constructed in this product. But again, doesn't matter. We're shipping everything this time including the vets. It's just all going by first letter of the last name. Our campus ticket it is De'Aaron Fox, and again, those are just hollow foils. Another campus ticket, this one's not numbered either, it's Siakam. Our, oh, it's another B. Our autograph is going to be Carrie Blackshear Jr. So, two autographs out so far, and both to the letter B. Here comes your little section of upcoming, would-be, might-get-drafted rookie guys. Did you like that? It was a really long, <laughs> really long explanation there. But the fact is, we don't know yet who's going to get drafted. We can speculate, but we don't know. So, one of the fun uh, little side bars of COVID. All of our drafts have been moved around. So there was a hollow foil Kemba Walker. Here's another hollow foil. That one's D'Angelo Russell. And we have uh, Malachi Flynn going to the letter F for autograph number three out of box number one. Here comes our rookie section. And 
Oh, there's some prospect tickets, so technically, um, well, but no, they're all, they say prospect ticket, but they're all still our current, our current veteran guys, so you know how that goes. I guess I could get the rest of those out of the way, huh? Just leave them sitting there. After we already looked at them, I don't guess there's much need to leave them set. I don't know why I'm sorting the rookies out into separate piles. That's just habit, I guess, because often in this product we don't ship the veteran base, but we are this time, but a lot of times we don't. Kevin Love, hollow foil, followed by an R.J. Barrett, hollow foil, and our autograph is going to the letter M. It is Sam Merrill for autograph number four. All right, more of our little nice little insert section. And in the middle here, it looks like we found our first cracked ice. It's numbered to 23, and it is Jason Tatum. So there you go. If you got the letter T, you got a cracked ice anyway. Get your night started somewhat reasonably well. Anthony Davis hollow foil, a Carmelo Anthony hollow foil, and a Saban Lee autograph going to, of course, the letter L. And this one is numbered to 49. It is a tournament ticket hollow foil. And there we are again. Back to back to our little veteran guys. So one more autograph to find here out of this last pack. Hollow foil for Jeru Holiday and one for Jimmy Butler. And the last autograph we see is Isaac Okoro. And Isaac is a prospect ticket, and that is an on-card autograph. And very nicely done. It is, um, yeah, for the, for the letter O, I'm kind of digging that card. I like that. Looks more like Contender's Optic than Contender's Draft Picks, but hey, we'll take it. We don't care what it looks like, right? We'll take it. We like ink. So that's box number one in the books. And we're just going to rinse and repeat five more times. Okay. There's a Paul George hollow foil and a Ben Simmons hollow foil. Then we've got Isaiah Moss for the letter M. A little section of inserts there and then back to our veterans, which is weird that they call that prospect tickets when they're showing veteran players on them, but what are you going to do? DeMar DeRozan hollow foil and, oh, a nice old John Morant hollow foil in his Murray State Racers uniform. Got an autograph here for Daniel Oturo. So that's the second one for the letter O. You wouldn't really think o, that the letter O would be so popular, huh? But it is tonight. Very popular tonight, so far. So far, so good, anyway. If you got the letter O, I guess. Shea Gilgis Alexander going, of course, to the letter G, being the first letter of the last name, followed by a John Wall hollow foil, so a pair of UK guys out there. This is Josh Hall going to the letter H. It is numbered to 49. And, uh, all right, we've got another little Tootsie Roll middle, if you will, with all of our fun inserts in the middle. And who tried to get, run away from me? C.J. McCollum there tried to, tried to run away. He didn't get far. Victor Oladipo hollow foil and a Buddy Heald hollow foil. And then we have a Trent Forrest autograph for the letter F.
All right. Trucking on along here. There's a campus ticket Kemba Walker. Looks like we've got another cracked ice here. And this one, of course, is hollow foil again. It is numbered to 23, and it's another one for the Bs. That one is Bradley Beal. An autograph out for the letter S. We have a J Scrub autograph out for S. I don't know why they have to put these things going 18 different directions in one pack, but they love to do that. It drives me crazy, but they do love to do that at Panini. So you're going a hundred different directions in, in one pack. Hollow foil D'Angelo Russell. Hollow foil De'Aaron Fox. Another autograph for the letter S. Isaiah Stewart. <coughs> Pardon me. That is a hard signed autograph. I did not feel a sticker on that card. Sometimes they look like they're going to be hard signed, but then they're not. The sticker just blends in. So that's why sometimes I feel for them. <coughs> Excuse me one second. A little water and see if we can't get the tickle out of my throat. You guys are being so quiet tonight. Everybody's feeling very chatty now that we're on to contenders draft picks, huh? Everybody said, ah, forget it. Too many cards in this one. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Oladipo hollow foil. Well, we have been looking at the back of, I guess, many of those, so we will on that one too. Although they're numbered on the front. There's a Ben Simmons, so we wouldn't miss the numbering, but nonetheless. A Sabin Lee for the letter L. Prospect part of things. Now we're getting into the new pack where we have a hollow foil Kimba Walker and there's another hollow foil John ja Morant. I'm still sleeving that like it's like it's his rookie card. I know it's not, but habits die hard, don't they? Austin Wiley for the W's. Yeah, so I guess we're expecting uh, LaMelo to go number one. Is that kind of the consensus? Everybody's thinking LaMelo will be the number one out of the draft. I don't know. I mean, I guess he's as good as, I guess he's as good as any other option. <laughs> James Harden, hollow foil. D'Angelo Russell, hollow foil. And Caleb Wesson, another one for the W's with Caleb Wesson. That's a conference finals ticket. It's numbered to 75. I still think his dad just had him on a weird path, you know? I mean, taking him to play internationally, not letting him kind of go through the natural progression of even the one season of college and that sort of thing. So, I don't know. I mean, I still think the kid's a little bit of a wild card personally. But, but who knows? Maybe he's going to turn out to be the greatest thing since sliced bread. It's hard to say. A hollow foil Derek Rose and a hollow foil DeMar DeRozan. And our autograph, it is for the M's. And I think this is a bookend. Sam Merrill, I believe we saw Mr. Sam Merrill earlier as well. We do, of course, recap at the end, so we'll get another opportunity to to take a look at that in, in a little bit. Carmelo Anthony, and we've got one numbered here. This is going to be a finals ticket, and it is numbered to 10, and it's DeAndre Ayton. Yeah, when's the last time we've talked about him, right? Former, former number one. Josh Nebo for the letter N, and that is, as you can see at the top, it is a die cut. 
So not all of our tickets are die cuts, but this one is, and it's also autographed, and it is numbered to, did I say 10? It's numbered to 32. I don't, why did I say 10? I have no idea. Did I say 10? I think I did. But it's actually numbered 18 of 32. I think I thought that 8 was a 0, but anyway, numbered 32 on the die cut. So N and O were combined into one bidding spot because usually you don't find a ton of both of them. So N and O, I believe, I'm pretty sure I combined them tonight. They are cleaning up, aren't they? Good spot to have. There's a John Wall hollow foil and then numbered to 99, it is Jimmy Butler. He almost managed to win that thing. Tyrese Halliburton. For the letter H, and that, of course, is a hard-signed autograph. does have, you probably noticed, quite a bit of curvature in the card, as did the other one with this type of coating. It's that, uh, hollow, it's not hollow foil, it's, um, oh, they call it optochrome, I think is what they refer to it as in the Panini world, where it's, you know, the same as, like prism and that sort of thing, optic, obviously, that type of coating. And it does sometimes cause the cards to curve up, bow up a little like it did there. But it does generally flatten out a bit once it's in a top loader, so should ultimately be okay, I believe. got waiting for us here. You have an Embiid hollow foil and a JJ Reddick hollow foil. Our autograph, this is Xavier Sneed. So you've got another autograph out for the letter S and it is numbered to 75. It's a conference finals ticket numbered to 75. Hollow foil Bradley Beal and a hollow foil Devin Booker. Then we've got Ray Sean Hammonds. That is the letter H. Ray Sean Hammonds. Okay, making progress. And here's Chris Middleton hollow foil, and behind that is a Zach Levine hollow foil. And then, how about this? We've got a Y autograph tonight. Cool. We don't pull too many that are Y. And this is Omer Yurtsevin. I'm sure that was absolutely butchered, and if the guy could hear it, he would just be so unhappy. But suffice to say, it is at least the letter Y. That much, that much we've got. <laughs> Even though I'm pretty confident I butchered the rest of it. Jaron Jackson Jr., Triple J is there. And this is a conference finals ticket. It's numbered to 75. It's going to Jalen Brown. There have been tons of bees in here tonight. Although I'm sure it's LaMelo Ball. You probably want, if you have the bees... Here's another one for the ends. The rich get richer with another hit. Zeke Naji, something like that. It's numbered to 75. It is a conference finals ticket. Okay. There's Jalen Brown, and next up is a Chris Paul. Those are both hollow foils. And we have an autograph here for the letter C, a change of pace. Joe Culver is the autograph out of pack number five, box number four.
Yeah, sometimes I hold this product. There's Trey Young hollow foil and a Kawhi Leonard hollow foil. Sometimes I hold it until after I know what the draft process is because it's, you know, everybody would rather buy by teams than by last name. But since this year's been so screwed up and weird, I just thought, eh, we're just going to sell it anyway and go by last name. I wanted to get in here and look at it myself. Patrick Williams for the W. Also a hard signed autograph did not feel any sticker on that one either. All right, we are four boxes down, two boxes to go. Round and round we go where it stops. Nobody knows. Well, we're about to find out, aren't we? So we need to find LaMelo Ball. We need to find uh, like Carson Edwards. Who else, are, who else should we know? Well, I want to say let's find all the big guys in the last two boxes. Let's just put that mojo out there. Let's find whoever the top five draft picks are going to be. See if we can get them all to come out autograph-wise out of this last box. That'd be a miracle. Out of these last two boxes. So Lonzo Boyle Ball Hollow Foil. Talk about combining two words. C.J. McCullum for the M. And then I have a Paul Reed for the letter R, a conference ticket number 299. Yeah, so maybe some of these guys are going to turn up still yet, I hope. Al Horford hollow foil and a Kyrie Irving hollow foil. But where's our autograph, which should be right there? Where's our autograph? See, this is what I mean when they tell you, um, yeah, when they tell you on average, because sometimes stuff like this happens where, like, where's our autograph? There's no autograph, right? No, I did not see one. We saw the Kyrie Irving. That's not signed. We saw the Al Horford. Neither of those are signed. And that was all that was in the middle. So, see, that's what I'm talking about. Sometimes we're just missing, we're just missing a hit. It just didn't give us a hit in that pack. That blows. But that is, uh, yeah, that is exactly why sometimes uh, that's why they put on average on the box. So they can say, well, we didn't promise you it was in there. It says on average. Did I miss it? I mean, I didn't miss it, right? I, I mean, I didn't not count it. We didn't have it in that pack, did we? Shea Gilgis Alexander for the G's. Victor Oladipo for the O. And then we have Nico Mannion for the letter M. And that one is hard signed. And it really is numbered to 10. Unlike my Phantom 10 on the die cut, this one really is numbered to 10 with a tournament ticket. So, uh, like, maybe chat is messed up. It's super weird that you guys would be that quiet, especially when we had uh, a missing hit. Oh, this is numbered. I did not catch that the first way through. It's numbered to 49 on that Victor Oladipo, so I just saw it when I was setting it aside. So I'm actually going to just go out of here real quick, and then I'm going to come right back in and see if like if there is something wrong with it because sometimes that's happened in the past but I guess not tonight <laughs> so, <nope. laughs> tonight you guys are all just riding quiet all right good enough Okay, there's a Ben Simmons with the letter S and a DeMar DeRozan with the letter D. Elijah Hughes, the letter H. And, um, yeah, let's, um, let's see what else is in here. A John Wall hollow foil followed by a Paul George hollow foil and an autograph for Reggie Perry, the letter P, Reggie Perry. Mm. 
one pack left out of box number five. Brings us a hollow foil Larry Markinen and one for D Rose. Our autograph is Cassius Stanley for the letter S. And then they go the other way again. See, isn't that maddening that they just change directions that many times in one pack? That I, just bugs me. I don't know. Anyway, here we roll into Last Box Mojo. So this obviously is where we hope to get our mojo fired up and in action. And um, hope we can find some heat in here. Pull some fire out of this last box. That's always the goal, but especially on the last box. Sometimes last box mojo yields some pretty good stuff, too. We've certainly seen it happen before. There's a Kevin Durant hollow foil and a, a Lillard behind that. An autograph for Kira Lewis Jr. And that, of course, goes to the letter L. And that is a hard-signed autograph. And I believe that is actually the person that I got the email about earlier asking me if the if the junior would affect that or not, which again, it does not. The first letter of the last name, clearly there is L. So juniors and seniors and the thirds and all that, they don't come into play when we're doing first letter or last name. Carmelo Anthony hollow foil and a Kevin Love a hollow foil. And an autograph for the letter D. And this is Delarier. Whoops, we haven't done this yet, have we? Ah, GC Sports Cards is excited about hitting that Lewis. All right. Well, good. I'm glad we found that one for you. So, uh, and in the parallel, no less. So, in the optic type coating. Makes it a little nicer, I think. I mean, they're all good to hit, obviously. There was an Embiid hollow foil behind it. We have one that is numbered to 23 because it's a cracked ice. And it happens to be Jimmy Butler cracked ice. Letter B has had tons of parallels tonight. Isaiah Moss. This might be a second one of those. Wouldn't swear to it, but maybe. Goes to the letter M. Just out of curiosity, GC Sports Cards, have you been involved in a break before that's similar to this where a breaker called the J and Junior the first letter of the last name? I'm just curious if that has ever happened before or not. Because I know every breaker does things differently, but like I would just never imagine somebody calling it that way. But then again, there are breakers who, who might. I don't know. There's a hollow foil Bradley Beal. And a hollow foil Devin Booker. I know I had somebody argue with me once over a hyphenated name that it should be, like in the instance of Edwards Hilaire, that it would be not the E in Edwards, but the H in Hilaire, the first name after the hyphen. I did have somebody argue that point with me once. It says Josh Hall, and that is the letter H, maybe also a duplicate, possibly. We'll see him when, when we recap. But yeah, so that's why this time in the description, I very specifically used an example, I think, of a hyphenated name. So I was like, oh no, I can't have that fight again. <laughs> Although it's been a while since that happened. It wasn't, it wasn't recently, nor was it with Clyde Edwards Hilaire. It was actually several years ago. But, but anyway, that's how you learn about what you need to make sure is covered, right? There was a J.J. Reddick hollow foil followed by a Jaron Jackson Jr., Here's Azabuki, ha ha. And that going to the letter A. So that might turn out to be a nice one. You never know, you never know where the superstars are gonna come from. So we are now in our last pack, on our last pack from our last box. So man, we need to super mojo this bad boy, don't we? Chris Middleton hollow foil and a Zach Levine hollow foil. And we kind of go out with a whimper as in the fact that I think this is also a duplicate. It is Trent Forrest for the letter F. 
So we did have a bit of duplication tonight, even in the half case break. So I suspect there's probably tons of duplication when you get into the full case break, autograph wise, I mean. So we're going to recap our numbered cards and our autographed cards. And we'll take another little pass through all of them. So this is a cracked dice. It's numbered to 23 going to the B's. Hollow foil to 49 for the O. Hollow foil to 75, the B. Hollow foil to 99, the B. Lots of Jimmy Butler parallels, huh? Hollow foil to 10, the A. Hollow to, I'm sorry, cracked ice uh, to the B. Also, Bradley Beal to 23. And a cracked ice going to the T. That one, Jason Tatum. A hollow foil numbered to 99 going to the letter G. <laughs> Stang Lover says, hey, that's not going out with the whimper. He has the letter F. <laughs> well, I meant in the sense that it was a duplicate, right? That's what I meant. Not that I begrudge you getting the second card. Of course not. I'm always happy when people get hit. The letter H, Halliburton. And then we have number 232, our die cut going to the ends for Nebo. There's M for Merrill. I think we may have another one of that as we go along. This is number 75 for the W, Wesson. Here's another one for the W, Wiley. And here is an L, Lee, number 2. 30, that is an S, Isaiah Stewart. Also an S, unnumbered, J Scrub. And there's F for Forest. And while we're at it, let's just get the other one. There's your bookend. There's your other Forest. So two of him for sure. Josh Hall, that's the H to 49. And then we have Orturo here for the O. Moss. For the M. Okoro, that's a nice hit for the O. Well, potentially. We don't know whether any of these are going to be nice hits till we see those guys, where they get drafted, and how they play, but potentially a nice hit for the Okoro as well. Numbered to 49, Lee. There's another Merrill for the letter M. I'm pretty sure that's the second one of those we saw. Here's another F. Stang Lover, you hit lots of Fs tonight. There's Malachi Flynn. Carrie Blackshear Jr., that might also turn out to be fruitful. That is a B. And Jordan Bowden, and that is the B. Azabuki for the A, followed by Josh Hall, an H. Isaiah Moss, do believe that is the second one of him, I think. That is the M. Uh, Delarier, that is the D. Here's your nice uh, Kira Lewis Jr. for the L's. Stanley, S. Perry, P. Hughes, H. Number two, 10. You've got a, an M for Mannion. Behind that, numbered to 99, you have an R for Reed. A W for Williams. A C for Culver. Numbered to 75. That's an N for Naji or something maybe not at all pronounced that way. This is a Y for Yurtsevin, probably also butchered. An H for Hammonds. And finally, we have got... Number 275, an S for Sneed. So there you go. That is the break and the recap for tonight. I am going to go ahead and put the spreadsheet information up one more time. If you missed it earlier, we're going to take another little peek at when you can expect your item to ship. And then we'll also take another quick look at what's coming up in the days ahead. So let me just get us over here to the right spot and we'll take one more quick plow through this 
Saturday is the anticipated shipping date. Um, and as always, that is plus or minus a day. So if the week goes really well, might get out a day earlier. The week goes off the rails, could be a day later. I expect it to be Saturday most likely. And um, if you got skunked in either break, meaning you did not pull a card of any sort, base or otherwise, you will still get a package in the mail. It will have consolation card or cards in it, and it will ship out when the rest of the break goes out the door, which is always how we handle that on a paid shipping break like this one was tonight. So that's what you need to know there. So coming up in the days ahead, tomorrow night, it is Allen and Genter Baseball. That will be by the six box half case. It is the back half of a case that we started last week, I think it was. And as is typical with A&G, we do have multiple bidding spots for all the non-baseball stuff that is found in that product, including the non-baseball celebrity category, which usually hits pretty well. On Friday, we have a new release in football. It is XR Football. We shall be opening a full 15-box case of XR Football. Saturday and Sunday will both be off nights. Monday, uh, well, you know what happened. I just typed in the wrong thing entirely, but what we're actually opening, so I deleted it while you know, what we are actually opening is a half case of Chronicles Baseball, Panini Chronicles Baseball half case is what we're going to be opening Monday night. So, all right, I guess that has got me all squared away for tonight. So thank you once again for being here. As always, I appreciate you very much. I hope that you have a fantastic week ahead and um, yeah, that you'll come back and see me again sometime soon. I always like having the company. In the meantime, stay safe and happy and healthy. Enjoy your evening and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye now.